Hey, welcome back. This is the Luke Morgan podcast number three, uh, February 20th, 2017. How the fuck are you? Um, yeah, it's been yeah, almost another month since I've done another one of these. Um, I've been sick. I had fucking, I don't know what the fuck it was, bronchitis or something. It was fucking brutal. Had me down for like two weeks. Finally got another video in, which was the, uh, what was it? The fucking, god damn it. I don't even remember my own video. I made it, made it two days ago. Um, oh, right. It was the Big Mac challenge. The, uh, trying to get done with a big, a large Big Mac meal in, uh, 59 seconds, which is, um, it's, it's, it's impossible for me to do. I I fucking give all the props to uh to these crazy competitive eaters that can eat shit in insane amounts of time. Um just goes to show that I am just a regular Joe, just a guy that I think Big Macs are delicious as well. So that was like the hardest part of that that fucking challenge um anyway yeah february now 2017 trump's been president for a month nobody's died yet at least the world hasn't ended yet all the fucking liberals out there thinking that everything is gonna fucking collapse and all that shit Go fuck yourself. I, I I don't think Trump's gonna do anything less or anything more than any other fucking president before him. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Here I am, the hacky motherfucker, talking about Trump. Nobody's talking about that. Jeez. I mean. I mean, fuck. Um. Yeah. Right off the bat, I'm bombing. I'm not. And my phone's ringing. Shut the fuck up, cunt. I don't want to talk to you. Um, yeah, so after three minutes, probably no one's listening at this point. I'm just sitting here talking to myself. Um, I do these podcasts, uh, not because I'm anyone, um, uh, which I, you know, talk about all the time. I'm, I'm nobody. And, uh, even if I'm somebody, I'm still going to be nobody. Um, this is just kind of helps me out, I guess. It's kind of helps me, uh, process thoughts. Helps me, uh, kind of get, get some shit off my chest. Um, got a lot on my mind these days. A lot to talk about. Um, yeah, uh, back, back to, back to President Trump. I mean, he's... He's basically the subject of of a ton of uh, just a shitstorm online, as you can you could have guessed by now. You already know, unless you live like in the fuck in a fucking cave or something. Um, yeah, the guy's uh, he's he's the perfect candidate for all the liberal shitstorm. Everything is uh, seems to be going as scheduled. Uh, he came under fire the other day for um, some kind of fucking comment he made about Sweden, and everyone's like, "Oh my god, you're a fucking dumbass!" But I, I don't know. They were they were think people took it in a way that he said that Sweden is like this chaotic place. Um, and nobody really knows Sweden as, as such, I guess. Um, I don't really pay attention to any of this shit, but I heard from a source I won't name, um, that Sweden has been, uh, has, I guess they've, uh, had a bunch of rapes going on or some shit. 
I don't I don't fucking read. Um, so don't listen to me if you want to get news. I guess from what I heard, um, Sweden took in a bunch of refugees and uh then some of those refugees are starting to rape people. I mean, you know, that's gonna happen. Yeah, rape rape happens. You know. Um Yeah, I get on here and I yeah, don't have a whole lot to say. I I'm actually gonna try to keep this one pretty uh pretty short. Um I feel like maybe these podcasts are a little long. Um anyway. I'm uh actually gonna have to pull up fuck. Uh do 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 Alright. Yeah, I guess I guess a couple couple new couple new things that uh kinda came up. Uh, the other day, we're um, laying in bed, you know, minding our own business. It's about eight thirty, nine o'clock in the morning, and uh, sorry about that. Um, we hear like some like commotion outside. We live in an apartment, so you know, there's there's always weird shit happening, even at nine o'clock in the morning. So we hear this, um, we hear this fucking tapping. It sounded like people, someone was, you know, trying to get into an apar- another apartment. They are tapping on the door, all that shit. And, um, so we fucking, we get up, look through the people, and, uh, there's a, there's a dude, like a kind of dready, kind of stonery looking dude, just like, just like fucking standing there um there's a door across the way from us and he's just like you can see him just standing there with a bicycle and like and like fucking I don't know bags of like food and shit yeah my girlfriend looks through the people sees that then I look through the people and the dude just fucking falls over. <laughs> he just like topples over his bicycle. And um, I was like, God damn it. So, and we'd never seen this dude before. So um, I go on, go in, get, my, get some fucking pants on. And I walk outside and there's this dude just fucking slumped over his bike like like his bike was a bed and he was just like laying on it slight incline and he's just he's just fucking he's out like a goddamn light this motherfucker I don't know how, what he had but this bitch was he was out of this world dude he was he had gone places so this uh so I'm like, you know, I'm nudging him, nudging him and fucking tapping on his leg. I'm like, dude, uh, bro, you're fucking partied out, man. He's, he's, there's no response whatso fucking ever. Um, <laughs> he just like, he's just laying there in front of our door. Laying on his bike on his back, just fucking passed out. No one's answering the door. The next door, we just had neighbors move in, but we'd never seen this dude before. We never really seen our neighbors before until this day, and he was in fact our neighbor. And he, um, he, uh, I guess had a good time the night before. But we see this dude. He's so okay. Here's so here's the guy. Here's the guy I am now. <clears throat> we see this dude. Fucking passed out in front of our our door. He's not responsive. Never seen him before. 
We're calling the fucking cops. I mean, wouldn't you? I mean, I guess. But that's the kind of guy I am now. I'm like, I'm, I'm now the one that calls the cops. Fucking five, six years ago, I would have tried to get him up and get him back into my apartment and fucking offer him another drink. <laughs> Mind you, nine, nine o'clock in the morning. Sure, why not? I was pretty, I was that, I was pretty much that deep into the fucking hole. I guess you could say I was getting there when I was drinking. This year it's uh, going into getting close to my third year not drinking. That's it's really weird. It's really fucking weird. Uh, yeah. So anyway, a cop shows up. Didn't take long to show up. I wasn't doing anything. Um. Uh. So he <laughs> comes up and starts yelling at this dude. Hey, police! Portland police! Fucking wake up, bitch! <laughs> and, uh, this dude was not having it. So we give him the information, all that shit. Kid's fi- kid finally starts to wake up. Starts to lift his fucking head up. And, uh, <laughs> he was so confused. He didn't know where the fuck he was. He was like, he he kept asking the cop, "Is this? Are you for real, man?" <laughs> cop goes, "Yeah, I'm for real, bitch. I'm the police." <laughs> he kept saying, "I'm the police." <laughs> kind of putting him down to his level and shit, you know. Um, <laughs> it was it was quite a scene. I mean, we 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 had already closed the door at this point. We were listening, of course. On the other end of the door, looking through the peephole and shit, like tweakers. Um, yeah, so I guess that probably means it's time to move. Yep. Fucking. When you have people. We have people on one side that sound like they're fucking murdering each other on a daily basis. And then people on the other side, fucking, they just moved in. They're fr- they seem like friendly people from the get go, but now this shit happens. Um, obviously, guy went to jail. He went to detox. You know, like you do when you're drunk in public. Um, but his girlfriend and his mom came over. Did the solid thing. Fucking said sorry. For our, you know. <laughs> our disappointment of a boyfriend slash son. Um, yeah, this dude was down and out. And, uh, you know, hopefully something like that doesn't happen again. But who knows, maybe it'll, maybe it will. It's entertaining at least, I guess. Um... If this isn't the worst fucking podcast uh, anyone's ever done, then then I I don't know what's a, what a bad podcast fucking sounds like. Um, just when you right when you fucking you get to a point where you're you feel like you have a lot to say, but there isn't a whole lot to say, at least. Not a lot coming in my mind. Um. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Um. I had a couple things written down from last time. Um. Let's see here. There. <clears throat> there's a. Few weeks ago, I was. I was at a. I was at a local Mexican restaurant and um there's I don't know I'm on a daily basis I'm perplexed at 
just the amount of fucking retards that are allowed to walk the streets of the world. These fucking mouth-breathing morons. You fucking you know, walk into this restaurant. There's like five of these, you know, kind of middle-aged, big-shouldered dudes. All white, you know. Just your typical fucking backyard barbecue American dudes, you know. But like kind of yuppie too at the same time. You know, those guys wear ball caps. Have like the dad bod going on. Kids are probably embarrassed whenever they're around. They talk about, you know, they're, they don't understand why you dress this way, honey. You know, that kind of fucking weirdo guy. Anyway, rambling, as usual. Um, these dudes just have, like, no concept of per- fucking personal space. They're all spaced out from each other. I can't fucking get past them. I can't get into line because there's only like five guys, but they're taking up like the entire restaurant somehow. I don't, I don't know how that happens. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm in line behind this dude. Um, he goes, he steps up to take his order. Sounds, you know, he's a regular old American guy. You know, just talks, you know, kind of blah blah blah. You know, straight, straight talker, blah blah blah. And then he fucking. And then he fucking goes to <laughs> he goes to to take his order, and he just he completely changes his. I'm oh, sorry about that. He completely changes his fucking <laughs> the way he talks. He's <laughs> fucking chicken, uh, chicken taco plato. He just like completely goes into a stereotypical Mexican accent. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> this guy's a fucking idiot. <laughs> he just and the, you know the lady's like the lady's like trying to like take his order without without smacking him in the fucking face and I'm I'm standing right behind him he's like yeah Jake and Blato fucking bullshit and I, I I out loud say oh my god what a douche what a fucking douche right behind him i i don't know if he heard me or if he was just oblivious just the douche chills were off the charts dudes jesus fucking christ um there's not really an end to that story it's just it just goes to show you 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 travel through the world and there's there's uh there's no end. There's no end to this to this madness. It's people you, you know they they walk into a Starbucks, they th- they feel like the oh, the whole world is is fine. They get a they get a fucking gluten-free doodah whatever the fuck they get and they feel like they're helping the planet. I mean mouth-breathing morons come in all shapes and sizes. They fucking, you buy a, you know, you buy a a hybrid car or even an electric car and they, they, they actually seriously feel like they're, they're making a difference in, in the world and, um, hate to break it to you, but, uh, what you're doing is not much different than what other people are doing. (laughs) <laughs> you know battery technology is not all there I actually <clears throat> actually I listened to a podcast the other day about batteries that's how much of a fucking nerd I am um most of these electric cars and like hybrids and all that shit um it really puts it into perspective the way these things are built um when you when they start to get older, when these vehicles start to get old and wear down, 
my 92 GMC Jimmy is still running strong after, what, 25 years now it's been on the road. Um, pushing 300,000 miles. And these hybrid, electric, whatever cars are, when they get to like 15 years old, they're just the battery technology is not there yet. Um, these cars, the batteries, they wear out, and uh, you gotta basically buy a new car when your batteries start to wear out in these things. I mean, a little while ago I saw a, uh, what was it, a Honda Civic or something, hybrid? They were, it was a relatively new car. It was like a 2012 or so, I don't know when the hybrid Civics came out. But they were selling this car for $800 and it was like, it looked fine. It looked like a newer, it looked like a pretty much any car you'd see on a used car lot, like a nice car. But they only wanted 800 bucks for it. That because it needed a new it needed a new battery. The battery was bad. The batteries for the battery for a Honda Civic Hybrid costs around four thousand dollars, and that's on the cheap end of the spectrum. These cars, people don't people don't think about this shit when they when they subscribe to these to these ideals. You know the peace and love. The if we buy something with a green label on it then we're then we're suddenly better than than anyone, you know? You're not you're not making much of a difference when you buy products like that. Um the electricity for one has gotta come from somewhere. That's the age old argument, I'm sure. Um it's a hack line, but it's true. Coal-powered plants, you know, hydroelectric dams, whether it be any of that, you know, any of those sources. Um, I may be giving into the propaganda, but coal power, I guess, I've heard, is not as dirty as they say, but I'm not a fucking, I'm not an engineer, you know, I don't work at a coal mine. I'm not an engineer, I'm a mechanic. So there's only so much of that of that spectrum that I can even comprehend, I guess. Come to the point where I mean, it doesn't take much to get to the point where my brain just says, uh, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about and I'm gonna shut down now by nighty night. So I guess the point I'm trying to make here is that uh I don't know. People make people are just people are so stupid. They they buy a fucking I don't know. They buy products and they don't think about they don't think anywhere else as far as like what the what the label says, you know think green this will save the planet you know all this shit all these fucking lies that these companies um put forth I guess you know organic fucking uh you know cruelty free all this shit you know these people are fucking they're dumb people are fucking mouth breathing morons me, I am one of them. Don't get me wrong. I'm not even going to give anyone a chance to call me a hypocrite because I know I'm a fucking mouth breather. But at least I guess I know that I am a mouth breather. Fucking idiot. Um, yeah. Um, as far as the food industry, you know, we, we have this awakening going on right now. As far as what's good for us, what's bad for us, 
Um, we have pretty much confirmed beyond a reasonable doubt that uh, sugar is poison. Um, at least in large quantities. Um, you hear about it all the time now, but I'll reiterate it because it's so interesting that it's it's confirmed that the sugar industry um, bribed scientists back in the 60s um, to spread the information that that sugar is good for you <clears throat> and that uh, that fat is bad for you. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, that that fat intake causes fat buildup, which is which couldn't be further from the truth. It's actually sugar in excess. Um, sugar is. An insane energy source. It's um, like like a lot. L there are some you know different foods that, or I guess if you want to call it food, it's a sweetener. But been around for a long time. Um, it's just it's packed with energy, but it's not an efficient energy. It's not. Uh, it's not. Um, it's very. I guess a fast burning energy, but why am I trying to explain this? I'm not a fucking biologist. I'm not a fucking doctor. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that um, sugar is in fucking everything. And it just so happens to be the thing that we really need to kind of regulate like real closely um, I've had I think I've talked about it before I've had blood sugar problems since the very fucking beginning of my life um, hypoglycemia uh, which is basically the opposite of diabetes um, if I take in too much sugar then then it basic it fucks my whole life up um, if I take in a lot of sugar during the day it takes me like I, you know like my kind of relatively strict diet went out the window when I went sick when I got sick um, but this thing um, I I ate I was eating ice cream and fucking s drinking sodas and like I like how I used to eat when I was a teenager when I didn't know any better and it took me about a week to come down off of that. I, I was just, when I started to eat like that, that's when I started to feel like I did when I was a teenager, which was sluggish and shitty and depressed. And then with the, uh, the crazy rain on top of that, um... Yeah, um, I know that I'm just sitting here rambling, but um, I'm just basically trying to piece together all these things that I'm I've been thinking about in a somewhat timely manner, and it's not working out at all. So I don't blame me if you if you don't uh, if you don't listen to this all the way through, or if, you know if at all. Um. I've been, I've increased, I've, I've basically increased my fat intake. I haven't been worrying as much about carb intake. I have cut that. Um, and, you know, increasing the protein intake, increasing the fat intake, and seriously regulating the sugar intake. The daily value believe it or not, is 25 grams of sugar per day. Um, if I can stay 
around 30 grams a day, realistically, because sugar is in fucking everything. Uh, it's, it's hard, it's hard to tell, you know, glucose, sucrose, all of that, that's sugar, um, all the things that, that you can't read a nutrition label on. I, I find for me, if I stay around 30 grams of sugar a day ish, if less than that, that's great. Um, my whole, my whole body just levels out. I'm completely fucking stable. My energy levels are fine. Um, I can drink coffee, which I love. I love fucking coffee. Um, and it doesn't, like, metabolize all of the sugar in my blood. Um, so I can, you know, I can burn off. I can live on that, that caffeine from the, from the coffee. I can, I can fucking, you know thrive off of it without it just fucking burning a hole in my asshole kind of thing if you uh if you catch me drift um of course accompanied by exercise um I've been really slacking on the exercise front the last few weeks uh I was doing really well before before I took a trip and before I got sick um I was in the gym almost every day for like three weeks, and I felt fucking awesome. Just felt like a fucking animal. Trying to get back to that. Um, Diet and exercise really is the key to um, not just to happiness, but I don't know, just to feeling feeling right, feeling well. Um, You know. I I don't know why exactly I'm talking about this, but just something to something to think about if if you're if you're listening. Um Yeah. You know, I going back to the whole you know, farm fresh fucking yuppie mentalities. Um Sorry if you can hear my neighbors walking by. Um there was this dude I ran into a little while back. Um, I was in New Seasons. Um, story I've been wanting to tell on podcasts. It just, just hasn't really happened. Um, this fucking dude. I was uh, I was in New Seasons. I I didn't want to be among them, if you know what I mean. It's a health food store. If you don't know what New Seasons is. But they just so happen to have really good cuts of meat, of steak, beef. I love beef. I love good. I love a good steak. Don't we all? Uh, I was getting ready to come home and whip some up for my friends, um, and I wanted some good, thick, hearty steaks. So I went to a a place where that actually um, gives a shit about their you know, their cuts and all that. Uh, I think I got some sirloins. I don't remember what it was exactly. It's been a little while now. This is uh, basically like the cunt in New season story. I go and get my steaks. I walk up to the fucking uh, produce section, and I'm kind of just standing there staring at carrots. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, figured out what I'm going to make. Making this little kind of saute thing. No one gives a fuck. Um, so I'm standing there, staring at carrots, minding my own business. And uh, this little dude walks up. He's got that... He's just got that vibe, you know. He's got a little... This ridiculous looking little cap on. This little like kind of beanie looking thing. And you know, you just know when you see people like that. Probably, probably does hot yoga. His ball bag probably hangs down past his knees. You know, one of those old hippie dudes. You know, probably drives a Prius and really feels good about it. Probably like sleeps well at night, knowing that you know, 
I'm driving a Prius. That means that that means that all is well in the world. That means that uh, that I can carry on recycling, doing yoga. Everything's fine. I'm a good person. Um he he comes up and I'm just trying to mind my own business, just stare at my carrots, trying to figure out what I'm going to buy. And this dude starts to inch towards me. <laughs> he just starts to inch right towards me. I, I'm like, oh, shit, here it comes. Here it fucking comes. Gets a little closer, kind of glances over. He goes, hey. And I'm like, oh, shit. Fuck, I'm trapped. I'm in it now. God fucking damn it. So, I'm like, hey, how's it going? Um, and he goes, do you know if all of this produce is organic? And I said, yeah, yeah, I believe it is. And, you know, I could have left it at that. I could have just left it at that, walked out, walked out of the building, got in my car, drove home. That would have been that. But... I, I, you can't just stop there. I just, under my breath, I just uttered it. I, I made a mistake. I was like, yeah, they are. I think they are, uh, I think they are all organic. Kind of a shame if you ask me. Oh, <laughs> you could just see this guy's just like his twitch, his, his head kind of tilted. He's like, he's like, what? What you want? You want sprayed greens? Is that what you want? And it's like, oh fuck! Oh god! I have triggered this man. This man has been triggered by my simple comment. And the look on his face, like he literally started to turn red at this point. I was like, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's no nutritional difference between organic and. Uh, and conventional, he just <laughs> he just couldn't handle it. He's like, oh, oh my god, this guy was he was full on triggered in in new seasons, and you could tell like like he just put me he put me in a category, he put me in a in a spot in a box, and that that was fine with me, you know. Coming from a, coming from a place that I lived. I, lived in a place where there was all these this guy is everywhere was what I'm trying to say I guess yeah he was completely he was having a fucking conniption and you could tell that he inside he's like okay okay let's let's try to calm down let's focus on your breathing and uh <laughs> try to try to send blessings to this man he's he's probably troubled he's you know, but but still, like even even below that, you could tell that he was one of those one of those fucking hippie people that looks down on other people. You realize um, you realize that we have um, you know mass produced produce uh, food for a reason, right? Um, there are billions of people on the planet and they all need to be fed um and it's very tragic that this is the method we we use it sucks because you know here in the u.s uh they say about 40 percent of our food is wasted which is a pretty big number and you know coming from a guy that fucking wastes food on youtube all the time uh, I mean, not really, but I guess, yeah. I threw away the game day hot dog. I wasn't going to eat the rest of that fucking thing. Um, rambling again. So, yeah. Uh, that That's kind of the story of of my triggering a, a douchebag cunt in new seasons. Um, yeah, these guys they, they they're they're born into this mindset basically that that uh and they read shit, you know, they they go online and they they see uh they see articles about you know, this is better than that. Organic is 
organic is so healthy and, and good. You know, do you, you do realize that they, um, again, uh, they got you by the balls, my friend. You know, they do also spray pesticides on organic produce. It's, uh, and they charge twice, sometimes three times as much for this shit. They've got you by the balls. They slap a label on it. They do less work. And they make more money. That's, uh, that's the tragic truth about organics. Is it's, it is an industry. Keyword, industry. And they need to make a profit. And they know there's a target audience associated with organic produce that uh, these people have generally they have more money whether it be from their trust funds or whatever you know Um, basically a bunch of entitled cunts I talk about them all the time I want to say I hate them but I don't They're, uh, they're still human beings they're um, they're people trying to get through through the through this weird life we live. These fucking insects on a floating speck of dust through time and space. You know, and when you when I when I pull back and think of it that way, I can't stay too I can't stay angry for too long. You know. Uh. Anyway, moving on, I'm closing in on, I think, 45 minutes here. Um, this is, a this is just one, uh, one podcast has probably been my worst so far, so, um, you know, bear with me, I'll, there'll be more, there'll be more, uh, you know, the last one got about 20 listens, I think two of them are me, so <laughs> I I'm gonna keep doing these. Um, I don't know why really exactly, other than I just you know sometimes I need to get some shit off my chest. Didn't really accomplish it too much on this one. Um, you know, it's taking me it's taking me a month <laughs> to to get around to doing them. You know, I'll call. I should just change the name to the Once a Month Luke Morgan Podcast. I don't know. Uh, as always, I um, I try to at least somewhat close with a with something science related. Uh, a latest, uh, a uh, a recent discovery about five days ago. Try to bring something in, you know, something new, something to think about in the science world. I guess it's kind of the science world. This is more, seems like kind of a plumbing problem. Um, <coughs> it's, uh, this concerns Australia. Um, this comes from LiveScience.com. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just, they just write good articles. So I put them, I, I like to read them. Um, Apparently, 36 Australian beaches were closed due to a buildup of human feces. Um, that's what it says. Yep. Um, there's an icky situation down under. 36 Australian beaches have been closed due to the contamination from human feces. Australia's Environment Protection Authority gave every beach in Melbourne a poor, quotes, water quality rating this week because of the fecal contamination and deemed them not suitable for swimming. (laughs) That's a shitty situation. The EPA official said in a tweet that recent heavy rainfall likely caused the pollution. One of Melbourne's daily newspapers, The Age, reported that the city was hit with one month's worth of rain, 
1.97 inches, 50 millimeters for all you fucking UK faggots, on Tuesday night, February 5th. The poor water quality could last through the, this through the week, according to Anthony Boxshall, EPA Group Manager of Applied Sciences. The bay is like a shallow tub, and all the catchments drain into it, Boxshell told The Age. The water stays in the bay for quite some time just because it's got that little entrance, so there's not much exchange. An EPA map of the affected area shared on Twitter shows beaches dotted along the bay and the narrow inlet to the ocean. Based on this geography, as Boxshell said, the contaminants entering the bay due to stormwater runoff do not actively interchange with the ocean water. We have a little map with these little red dots in this bay, I guess, by, uh, you know, off of Australia. <coughs> to, to determine contamination levels, the EPA tests water samples for enterococci, a bacteria group that is an indicator of fecal contamination. According to the EPA's beach report, Water rated as poor due to bacteria means swimmers are at high risk of such illnesses as gastroenteritis, also known as stomach flu. It's gastrointestinal disease that we're worried about and infections, Boxshell said. For some people like kids, older people who are more frail, pregnant women, people who, for whatever reason, their immune system might be more sensitive gastro can be more serious so we issue these alerts um so yeah um australia is a pretty shitty place after all (laughs) (laughs) yeah that sucks australia sorry about that not that anyone from australia is listening to this shit um uh yeah, that sucks, guys. Um, I don't know how that fucking happened. It, there's, there's like a plague of human shit. A plague of shit. Where's Jesus on this one? Who knows? Probably fucking clubbing a baby seal or something. Ah, no one's ever told that joke before. It's not even a joke. Um, yeah, that, that pretty much does it. Um... But this one, uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to just go over this one a little bit, just real briefly, because it's kind of interesting. Um, Fireball hissing, weird cause of noises made by meteors found. Bright flaring meteors are sometimes accompanied by faint noises. What's strange about these popping, sizzling, rustling, and hissing sounds, they reportedly occur almost instantly instantly to earthly onlookers this makes little sense as meters as far as 60 miles away from viewers on the ground so any sound they make should take several minutes to be heard what's going on do meteors somehow defy the laws of physics researcher richard spaulding and several of his colleagues in sandia national laboratories recently set out to study this strange phenomenon and in a study just published to the journal scientific reports they announced that the sounds are likely created through light. Meteor fireballs sometimes pulse with light many times brighter than the full moon. And these blasts can briefly heat the surface uh, of objects many miles away. Such sudden temperature changes can actually create sound. That's fucking crazy. We suggest that each pulse of light can heat the surface of natural dielectric transducers. Spalding and his colleagues write, the surfaces rapidly warm and conduct heat into the nearby air, generating pressure waves. A succession of light pulse produced pressure waves can then manifest as sound to nearby observer. That's fucking badass. It's kind of freaky too. I mean, it's literally a fireball whizzing by above your head and you can actually hear it. Uh, I did not know that that was possible, but I guess... According to this, it's caused by the heat that it puts off. That's 
That's fucking cool. Very interesting. This was uh, obviously put out by Live Science uh, February 7th. Um, yeah, check out LiveScience.com. They, they got all kinds of cool stories. Once again, I'm not affiliated with them. It's just they just put out cool shit. Um, I mean, if it's if it's science, it's going to be cool to me. So not that I'm smart enough to be a scientist. Um, anyway, uh, I'm closing in close to an hour right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, Anyway, uh, I hope your your Valentine's Day was just lovely. Um, I didn't do shit on Valentine's Day. Um, for one, I was getting over getting sick. Um, and I don't give a fuck about your stupid Hallmark bullshit holiday. Uh, it's not even about, like, lovers. I don't even know. I don't even remember what it's about. I'm not going to look it up because it's boring. But it's basically Saint, whatever the Saint Valentine, Saint Valentine dude. He was a saint. And people fucking defied him and they made a holiday. Just like Saint Patrick's Day. All that shit. From what I can tell, these corporate holidays, pretty much what I'm trying to say is nothing is as it seems. Um, there's, there's almost always guaranteed to be a fucking grim history to anything we've learned about. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just, oh, that's just a warm and fuzzy, nice little conclusion for you. Um, nothing is as it seems, and it's usually negative. Yeah, that's a nice little, nice little conclusion there. I hope you have a, I hope you have uh, have a nice little, um, whatever, your day, your, your sleep, remembering that God hates you, um, and the universe doesn't give a fuck about you, um, astrology is bullshit, um, the stars and planets aligning have no no consequence whatsoever we for us to think that we have anything to do with any of that or any of that has to do with any, with us um is fucking egocentric and retarded thinking just because we're the only life in this general area of the universe of the galaxy uh does not mean that we're special at all whatsoever. Um, we are insects floating on a speck of dust. And we fight over what broccoli to buy at a supermarket. Okay? Anyway, if you've made it this long, I salute you. This is basically the... 200 subscriber podcast or not I'm not quite there yet 193 last time I checked um so getting there um someday I hope to hit 100,000 subscribers that's probably an unrealistic goal at this point but yeah guy can dream can he anyway uh yeah have yourselves a great fucking day week month However long until this, till my next incoherent ramblings uh, of a podcast. This was number three, the 2-20-2017. Um, I am the bear. I am Luke Morgan. Check it out on the, the YouTube YouTube.com forward slash the bear 9000. Say it with me. YouTube.com forward slash the bear 9000. And on Twitter at Lucas the bear one, I believe it is. Or just search the bear if you want. I mean, 
I don't get any responses any, on any of my Twitter shit. But, you know, if you want to keep in, tr- in touch on there, you can do that. Um, yeah, see you in the kitchen. For my next video, might be a giant taco. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Have yourselves a great fucking day. Peace.